Hey everybody, how are you? Thanks for joining us today on Facebook Live. Really happy to have uh, an audience today with us. Uh, my name is Nick Valentino with Kaplan Medical. And you know, at Kaplan Medical, we work with medical students all over the world that are pursuing their dreams of trying to get into medical residency in the U.S. And at Kaplan, for over 20 years, we have helped students through every step of that journey. You know, you think about Kaplan, you think about the USMLE exams, and that's definitely a big part of it. But, you know, it's really a lot more for our students, and it's a lot more for us, right? You know, we want to make sure that not only are you getting those great scores to put yourself in a position to get those interviews, but, you know, do you have a well-rounded package? Do you have uh, enough that's going to make a program director want to select you for an interview? And that's really what our medical advisors do, all of our staff at Kaplan. Uh, you know, another really important part of that is giving you resources to make sure that you have what you need to be successful with your busy life, right? We understand that most people can't give up two years of their life to strictly study USMLE. And, you know, for a lot of students, it takes that amount of time to really get there. So, you know, how do you really manage balancing your work, life, job, family, and getting ready for these exams. That's really what we focus on at Kaplan, and we've made a program this summer that's really designed to help our international students. So like I said, you know, I've worked with thousands of students along their journey. I've spent time uh, working in our Kaplan Manhattan Center, you know, really working with students every day that are focused on this journey. And, you know, we're seeing more and more students, you know, wanting to take courses that are more flexible, right? online courses where they can interact with our faculty, ask questions, have access to medical advisors, and that's why our live online course is one of our most popular options at Kaplan. You really get every benefit that Kaplan has to offer with the most flexibility. You're able to access our books, our videos, our questions. You're able to still network with your classmates and things like our Facebook community. And most importantly, you're getting access to our amazing faculty that, you know, you go through subject by subject, really covering the high yield information that you need to know. Now, what we're talking about today is our summer international live online program. So, you, uh, you know, a lot of you that are familiar with our programs might know that our live online courses typically meet from 6 to 10 p.m. Eastern time. So depending on where you live in the world, that might work, it might not work, right? I was having a conversation with a, a partner in Thailand, and, you know, they're at 12 hours difference. So we were talking about this class, and for some students, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., their time works. But for a lot of students, it just doesn't, right? You know, we have students all over the world from uh, the, the Middle East to different parts of Asia, Europe. You know, really, we're working with students. Uh, I think there was something uh, like over 90 countries that we worked with students live online last year. So we really want to do what we can to make sure that you have the resources you need to be successful. So we've created a course over the summer. Uh, the course is going to run from May 17th to August 31st. So really, uh, you know, a uh, 14-week uh, class that is going to cover everything that you need to know for step one. The class is going to meet from 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. So four hours a day, you know, really intensive, high-yield information. And it's going to be a time that works really well for students all across the world. So, you know, if you're in Russia, in Moscow, it's going to be 4.30. If you're in India, it's going to be 7 p.m. Different parts of Asia, you know, 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 8.30 so really want to make sure that students have the flexibility to choose multiple time courses and give them a course that they're going to be able to prepare this summer that really gives them everything that they need. So really excited. Uh, I know I've been working with students um, that have been asking for this. They really wanted a class that, that fit this time. And, and now they have it. So we're going to talk all about the different resources, why it makes sense to get signed up early. Uh, you know, one of the most important things to know about Kaplan programs, whatever program that you're doing, if you're going to do a live lecture at one of our great Kaplan centers across the U.S., or if you're going to do a live online class, our classes are focused on high-yield, fast-paced material. Success on the USMLE, especially Step 1, is not just about understanding information or, or being able to just, you know, uh, define your, you know, your basic sciences and your, and your um, different organ systems. It's about being able to take a concept and integrating it across topics, across disciplines, across organ systems. And that's what we do in our classes, really teach you how to dissect that high-yield information. The reason I say that is it moves fast, right? You want to spend time before these classes start building your foundation, okay? So that's why we give students access 
to books, videos, assessment exams, questions, right away, as soon as they get signed up, because we want you to go into class almost exam ready. Like, we want our students interacting, asking questions, so that when the class is over, you're ready to practice your questions in our QBank, make sure that your scores are where they need to be. If you have a weak area, focus on that weak area, and that's how you see your score jump, and then you know you're ready to take the USMLE exam and get that high score. So really excited uh, about this class. You know, a lot of uh, things we'll talk about. Um, you know, but one of the things I also wanted just to chat with you guys about is, you know, why if you're a student across, this, you know, across the world, you know, you're in medical school, maybe you're practicing in a hospital in your country, you know, why would you want to come to the U.S.? And you might say to yourself, is, is it still possible for me to come to the U.S.? What are the chances for international medical graduate to be successful in the U.S.? And, you know, no one at Kaplan is going to stand and tell you that this is easy, right? Any IMG can go to the U.S., no problem, we'll make it happen for you. We are going to tell our students that they need to put the work in if they do, they're going to be able to put themselves in a position to be successful. We need international medical graduates in the U.S. Every year for the past six years, there's been upwards of about 3,000 international medical graduates, non-U.S. international medical graduates, that were successfully matched in a residency. In 2016, it was almost 3,800. So the U.S. depends on students from all over the world coming and training in the U.S., filling our hospitals. And they're anticipating that that's going to be an even larger need over the next 10 years. There's going to be more need for surgeons, more of a need for general uh, care physicians. So uh, definitely want to consider this as an option. In the U.S., a lot of benefits for uh, medical residents, right? You know, in addition to getting competitive salaries, you guys are investing a lot of time, a lot of energy uh, in your education. You want to make sure that's going to pay off. In addition to getting uh, competitive salaries, you're going to be trained at the highest level, right? You're going to learn the uh, practices that you're going to be able to specialize and then take back to your country or continue on, on a path of a medical practice in the U.S. You have lots of options. You know, we want to make sure that we get our students ECFMG certified, put them in that position to get interviews, get that residency, and uh, ultimately, you know, plan their future from there. And that's really our goal, right? You know, putting you in a position to plan your future and really succeed uh, with your medical career goals. We had a question from Alexandra, and she asked, is it difficult for a doctor of, of 40 years to uh, get into residency or get interviews? And, you know, Alexandra, I'll tell you that, you know, it's really, really going to depend on a lot of different things, right? Uh, ultimately, uh, 40 years, uh, oh, 40 years old. I thought, I thought she said graduated 40 years ago. 40 years, 40 years old. That's not that old. Um, so a graduate 40 years old. So say, you know, maybe you graduated 10, 15 years ago. You know, uh, what are my chances of getting into residency? I can definitely tell you that, you know, the, the longer you've graduated, the incrementally, a little bit tougher it gets, right? Some programs like to see, um, uh, applicants that graduated five, 10 years ago. When, when you get into certain things like, you know, maybe I graduated more than 10 years ago, it just depends on the rest of your application, right? Um, if you score really high on your USMLE exams, there are going to be plenty of programs that still want to consider you for an interview. I talked to a program director recently, and he, he said to me, you know, uh, he, he, he interviews older applicants all the time. But if they have uh, low scores, he says that they're stale. If they have high scores, they are experienced, they're seasoned, right? Because that means that they know what they're doing, they're, they're still well connected with their basic sciences. So it really comes down to the rest of your application. The, the average number of years for a non-US IMG that matches is about 4.7 years after graduation. So about 4.7 years after they graduate is when they, they match into residency. So a lot of people are say, think, oh, if I graduated more than five years ago, I'm not gonna get in. The average is five years. So it definitely comes down to the rest of your application, and that's what we focus on, right? You know, if uh, you graduated 15 years ago and you have 250, 250, are they going to want to take somebody that graduated three years ago with a 215, 215? Probably not. They're going to want the student with the higher scores, also who has experience working in hospital. The key thing to remember about residency programs is it's training. So some things they worry about with older candidates that have experience in hospitals is that they're not being willing to change, to learn, to adapt. If you're going into interviews with that focus, you want to learn, you want to get better, I really don't think that the, uh, the age is going to uh, matter. Excuse me. Uh, Andy asked, um, 
uh, IMG from Ukraine. So step by step, what do I have to do to become a doctor in the U.S.? Andy, you know, it's a great question. And it's one of the questions that we get from a lot of students, right? You know, you, you need help. And that's what uh, we do. You know, ultimately, Andy, it's going gonna, it's gonna to depend on a couple of things, right? It's going to be, <clears throat> you know, do you want to come to the U.S.? Do you want to stay in the Ukraine? Both, uh, both options are available. Ultimately, when it comes down to Step 2 CS and when it comes down to interviews and applications, you're going to have to make your way over here. But a lot of students choose to prepare in their home country, which is what we're talking about today. Um, you know, Andy, one of the things I'll say is, you know, we don't have that much time today, and I'd be happy to chat with you. We could put my uh, email in the, uh, in, the, in the chat. But we have medical advisors that are available Oh, he's in the U.S. Even better, uh, Andy. Um, we have medical advisors that are available every single day of the week that are ready to talk to our students, answer their questions. They are experts on every step of the residency process. Uh, if you're in the U.S., Andy, we have Kaplan Centers across the U.S. You can go into one of them, you know, sample one of our classes, interact with some students, interact with our, our staff there. Unbelievable communities that we have in our Kaplan locations, right? They are Kaplan uh, facilities that we operate with our staff, with our team of medical advisors, every center has designated school officials that help with uh, immigration issues and visa uh, needs. So, you know, really definitely I would encourage you to set up an appointment and we will uh, we'll talk more about that. So we talked about a little bit about why the U.S. And, you know, one of the things I want to talk to you also about is, is why Kaplan, right? You know, why should I choose Kaplan to really help me along that journey? And, you know, what I can tell you is, is that we are enthusiast, enthusiasts for helping our students succeed. You know, nothing uh, makes us happier when we see a student come into our Kaplan Center or, you know, send us an email that they got that 250. Or every year when we have our match parties and we see all of our students successfully taking that next step on their journey. Um, so for over 20 years, that's been our focus. And, you know, we've become uh, the leader and the experts in getting you there. So we have uh, dozens of medical advisors in our Kaplan Centers, service uh, advisors, um, and, you know, just that's just a fraction of all the people that we have working to make our students successful. We have an entire curriculum team focused on our products to make sure that they're constantly uh, adapting, you know, meeting your needs, the most updated content and questions that you're going to find, because we have the best faculty from around the world teaching these programs, right? They are not just teachers. They are physicians. They're deans of medical schools. They are experts in their field. Um, that, you know, not only understand the concepts, but understand how that you integrate them across one another to get that high score on the USMLE. Over 120 teachers we have on our bench, um, 250 awards they received, 760 publications. They have 940 years of experience teaching. You know, so... If you've never experienced our faculty, we have live online events every month. You have to really interact with them, really get the benefit of what you're going to get in one of our classes. Um, Ali Khan asks if we have Kaplan Centers in the UK. We absolutely do. Uh, great staff there in the UK, so definitely would encourage you to, uh, to reach out to them. They can assist you as well. Um, so, you know, we talked about uh, the flexible options, right? We're going to talk more about the international live online class, I promise. I, I like to get, I start talking about the stuff, I get enthused, and I, I go uh, on tangents, but we are going to talk more about the international program. Um, but, you know, I, I also talked about flexible study options, right? So, you know, options to prepare in the U.S., options to prepare online. We we'll need to figure out what's the best fit for you, and we will work with you to c cater a program that works. Um, Pragdala asks, you know, if I fail step one, what are my chances of getting into residency, right? So, Pragdala, you know, you're not, not the first person to ask that question, right? There are plenty of students that come to us, you know, with a failure on one of their exams. And they say, what am I going to do? And, then, you know, again, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. A failure on your exam definitely makes the next steps of the process a little bit more challenging. It comes back to everything else, right? Uh, you have to think about how program directors think throughout this process, right? So ultimately, Pragdala, you're going to apply, right? You're going to have a great application and you're going to apply. There are going to be some programs that just because of the failure, they might not choose to go to the next level of the interview process. There are going to be plenty of programs that still do consider students with a failure. So it's going to depend on the rest of your, of your application. So say you fail, you fail step one. You know, sometimes I tell students, the only thing worse than failing is passing by a few points. If you pass by a few points, that's your score. And it makes getting to the next level of the application process that much harder, right? At least you have the opportunity to take it again, prepare, get that 240 plus, make sure you're above average, 
you know, do really well on CK, CS, you know, maybe consider taking step three, maybe consider getting some clinical experience before you apply so you get great letters of recommendation, and then you're going to be in a good, in a good spot. I've worked with students that have multiple failures, that have, uh, you know, entered the match multiple times and still never gave up and have gotten into residency. I just worked with a student in 2016. I think she entered the match three or four times, you know, never gave up, did volunteer work, did experience, and ultimately impressed somebody and got her spot. So it's really never out of the question. Uh, Gordon, we don't have a Kaplan Center in Baltimore. Currently, we have Kaplan locations in Pasadena, Houston, uh, New York, Washington, D.C., uh, Miami, and Chicago. So, welcome to study any one of those Kaplan Centers. Um, okay, so, we asked about, okay, we got, we got uh, all the questions so far. Next thing I really want to talk about, guys, is our student success, right? So, you know, like, like I said, ultimately, you have to think about, you know, what you're going to do to be successful on these exams, and ultimately, you, you know, it's not just about passing, right? You guys understand that. If you want to get into residency, you need to have that above average score. That's 230, 235 plus um, in order to be above average. So, you know, that needs to be your passing standard, right? How do I put myself in a position to get to that 235 plus? And, and that's where Kaplan comes in, right? So we have uh, just some, some uh, stats from our recent match survey that we did from 2016. Just people in our Kaplan centers, uh, we had over 171 students matching the residency programs last year from our Kaplan centers. So, you know, really have that community helping you, working together, and, you know, seeing lots of our students succeed. We have a Kaplan Medical Honor Society. It's uh, something that we do where we celebrate all of our students that get a 250 consistently on step one or step two. So we want, you know, we're, we're not in it just to make sure that you're passing. We're in it to make sure that you're putting yourself in a position to match. So that's really why you should put your trust in Kaplan. We are going to give you that guided support, the flexibility, the expertise that you need to get that high score. Um, okay, so let's talk more about this International Summer Live Online program, right? So what, what am I exactly am I getting? What am I getting with the course? You're getting the, the class, right? So you're going to get the 14-week interactive lectures with our faculty, May 17th to August 31st, and... You are going to uh, go subject by subject from 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. So if you, go to our, if you go to our Kaplan website, I'm sure we're putting it in the chat right now. Uh, it's a nice, easy one to remember. Kaplan Medical International Live Online. International Live Online. Uh, course. Kaplan Medical slash International Live Online course. Not too bad. Um, but we're going to put it in the chat. And you can really see all the different de details, features, and we have all different times listed, so you can check the time difference for your city. So 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., 7 p.m. Uh, in India, so uh, you know, not a bad start time. Really a good catering for wherever you are. If you're in uh, Eastern Europe, you could finish school, jump right into this class if you still have classes uh, running uh, in May. But... So in addition to the 14-week class, which is obviously, you know, interactive, working with our faculty, you get everything else, right? Everything that we offer for step one, you're going to get access to. So you get access to our lecture notes, seven books, ebook, and print of our subjects, right? So anatomy, biochemistry, physiology, pharmacology, pathology, everything. Subject by subject, um, that really covers all of the content needed to really master USMLE, right? It's, a, it's an in-depth breakdown, comprehensive breakdown. And those books follow along with our videos. So over 200 hours of step one videos that follow along with our books, right? So 200 hours of video, that seems like a lot of video, and it is. It's very comprehensive. Are you going to need to watch all 200 hours? Maybe, but a lot of students have strengths and weaknesses, right? And that's really what Kaplan is all about, identifying your strengths and weaknesses and prepping smarter, not harder, right? Knowing where you need to focus to get that high score. One of the things you'll do right at the beginning is take a diagnostic exam. It's 150 questions, but it's going to give you a breakdown of what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are. Take that exam, and then our medical advisors are really going to help you make a study plan that works best with your needs, right? And you're going to be able to focus your time before the class starts. And that's really important to remember, right? The class starts um, May 17th. You want to get signed up as soon as you can. We have just a... Uh, 
just over two months uh, avail uh, left before the class starts, you want to use that two months to build your foundation. Identify those weak areas. Start going through your books. Start going through your videos. Okay? You get an assessment exam for every subject. So every subject, you know, as you're going through, you, uh, you, you could, you know, brush up, take the assessment exam, and really get a deep, d deep understanding per, uh, per discipline what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are. Comes with our brand new Step 1 QBank. Over 2,000 questions that have been completely revised over the last year. A brand new look, interactive, you know, really um, uh, I, uh, adaptable to your needs, the big thing about our Q Bank is the explanations, right? You know, not only are you going to understand why the correct answer choices are correct, but you're going to understand why every incorrect answer choice is incorrect. So really important uh, to remember that. Um, access to our Q Bank. Access to our medical advisors. So you're going to get a personal advisor reach out to you, introduce themselves. They're for you every step of the way on your journey until you take that exam. And then when you're ready for step two, step two CS, applications, they're going to be with you to really help you make sure you're doing every step to the most of your ability and really showcasing all that you have to offer as an applicant. And finally, the best thing about our live online course is it's accessible anywhere, right? You log in anywhere you have internet, you can access the course, you could be in your pajamas, you could ask questions to our faculty. Um, every class has a teaching assistant, so if you, if, you, if you miss something, you're confused, you can ask a little private question to another doctor in the room um, so you don't disrupt class. But it's very interactive. If you've, like I said, if you've never taken a live online event with us, we have free events every month that help our students, academic lectures with our faculty, as well as helpful workshops, different things that you could do. So definitely take advantage of that. And take advantage of this course. It's for our international students. Um, perfect time for, for uh, a lot of you. So you know, consider getting signed up. And definitely can get, get consider signing up in March. March is the opportunity for our students to get the best prices of our courses all year. Capital Medical, March, March Bendis, that's what we, we call it. And we want to make sure that you start your plan, start your journey now. Even if you're not going to get signed, even if you're not going to take this class, if you're thinking about getting signed up anytime this year, now is the time to speak to an advisor and plan out your calendar. Think about what's going to work best for you. Lock in your course. Make sure you're getting that discount. You're not going to get better prices for the rest of 2017 than you're going to get in March. So, you know, you want to have that, uh, that built-in understanding that, you know, this is an investment in your future, this is an investment in your uh, medical career. You want to make sure you're doing it at, a, at the time where you're going to get the most savings. So, you know, definitely uh, March is uh, the time to sign up. Our, our live online classes are uh, normally $3,999, so just under $4,000. You sign up in March and you're going to save $800 just by signing up in March. So really big savings, getting signed up in this class. Get access to your books, your videos, your questions right away. You could, be start, you could start looking at your eBooks as early as tomorrow um, if you get signed up today. So take a look on our website. It is the, um, in the chat, capitalmedical.com slash international live online course. You know, think about what's best for you, and speak to one of our medical advisors. Set up an appointment this month. Ask any questions that you have. Even if you're not sure, chat with one of them. They are ready to speak to you. They want to make sure that you have the questions and answers that you need. Um, yes, Andy. Um, in March, 20% off on demand, which is just self-study, or live online, which is what we talked about today. And live online, you get the on demand, the books, the videos, everything. So all of our comprehensive options uh, 20% off in March, best price of the year. Do you need a visa to study for the online course? No, that's the benefit of the live online. So if you want to come to the U.S., we're going to help you get that visa and study at one of our Kaplan centers. But much uh, more flexible option is taking live online. We have tons of classes that are coming up that start at our regular time, 9.30, I'm sorry, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern. So you have to figure out the time difference for wherever you live. But this special summer class, a special time for international students, 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. So if the other time works better for you, that's great, too. And those classes are all on sale this month as well. If uh, the summer live online class works better, take advantage of it. You know, seats are going to fill up quickly because we have students all over the world that this time works good for. So make sure you lock in your course and get signed up, um, uh, you know, with one of our programs. Speak to our medical advisor, um, Sanjay, 
uh, you know, you want to speak to one of our medical advisors. Generally, we encourage students to sign up um, about seven months, n no more than that, before they uh, sign up. So we might not have our dates ready for January 2018, but we could definitely get you started on, on what you can start studying, what you can start preparing, uh, and then as soon as those classes are ready, you jump in a class for next year. But we have uh, tons of classes starting in 2017, right? So uh, if you're thinking about live online, obviously we talked about the summer one. But we have classes starting um, in April, in May, in June, in July, in September, in October, all for Step 1 Live Online. So a ton of different options. We have classes starting in New York in May, July, October. We have classes starting in Chicago in June, Miami, April, and August. Houston, um, September is our next class start. We have actually one starting in 10 days, if you want to jump into that one. Uh, and then Pasadena, we have a class starting in September. Lots of different options available. You know, we want to make sure you have the flexibility to really plan. But remember, live lectures, you want to do that to the mid to the end of your studies. Spend a few weeks building that, a few weeks to months, building that foundation, going into live lecture ready. Sanjay, beautiful. If you're ready, if you're already registered for live 14 week in Chicago, you are on your way. Definitely make sure, make sure you reach out to the Chicago team and, you know, you know have, answer any questions that you have and figure out what you can do to prepare uh, before that class starts. Okay, guys, I really hope this was a helpful session. I hope you got a lot out of this. We are here for you. Want to give you the options that you need to be successful. 20% discount all month. Speak to a Kaplan Medical Advisor. Really um, uh, hope you uh, had a, a helpful time these last 30 minutes and look forward to working with you on your pathway to medical residency. Have a great rest of your day or evening. Thanks so much, guys.